So basically, to read a candlestick chart, you've got to know a couple of things. Um, some terminology to begin with is that the actual boxes that you see, the red and green boxes on screen right now, those are the candles, and the lines extending from them are the wick if it's above and the shadow if it's below, I believe, or it could just be called the wick in general. So um, the boxes represent the lowest and the highest um, price point for a particular uh, security, in this case Litecoin versus Bitcoin, during a certain time period. And the site CryptoCoinCharts.info has the current resolution set up for the 24-hour chart of one hour. So the most recent candle here on the end is red, and the red indicates a general downtrend from the previous price point uh, resolution. So um, when you hover over one of these, you're going to see some numbers. Uh, the first couple of numbers you see uh, obviously are the date, uh, the current date, and the current time of the particular candle you're hovering or investigating, I guess. So. Um, the first number displayed below that is the lowest um, extension of the actual wick of the candle. And the lowest wick is the lowest price that the coin or whatever you're trading was sold or bought at during this current time period. So it just so happens that 0 0.0312 was the lowest price that LTC was bought or sold for in this time frame. And then you see a dash which represents a, um, a certain range of prices and that extends to 0.03219 uh, Litecoin per Bitcoin. So if you spend this amount of Bitcoin you will get one Litecoin is what it's pretty much that's the ratio is so what it means. So the first number is the lowest represented by the bottom of the wick here and then the second number is the highest represented by the top of the wick which you might be able to barely see up there. And then the next two numbers represent the lowest value of the current candle. So the bottom of the red right here. And then the second number represents the peak of the candle. Um, which is just slightly below the actual top of the wick right now. So if you compare these two numbers, you'll see that this number is lower than this number because this number represents the bottom of the wick or the lowest price point for trades slash buys of a, cur a certain time period. And the second number again represents the highest point or the wick on top of the candle. And then the third number after the comma represents the lowest price point of the candle currently and then the top number represents the highest price point of the candle currently. So um, a red candle indicates a general downtrend which means that the closing price right now is currently uh, right here on the bottom which is much lower than the uh, price point of the previous resolution time frame which was actually green. So because of this, it's actually being uh, bought up right now. So this, you'll see this start to disappear slowly. And if it happens to strike the line that was represented by the current price point and rise above it, it'll actually turn into a green candle. But this wick will remain to indicate that that was the lowest um, selling point or buying point of the coin in that particular time. And you can see this in some of the previous ones, there's huge wicks extending all the way down. So at 4 hour on the 29th of April, Litecoin happened to reach all the way down here to 0 0.031 um, Litecoins per Bitcoin. Or Bitcoin spent per one Litecoin, sorry. So because of that, um, it was bought back into to a point all the way up eventually to the top of the wick here and then before the market closed or before this time resolution closed out it was sold off a little bit so it dipped some so that's pretty much how you read uh, candlestick charts um, advantage of using a crypto coin dot info 
chart over, say, the chart displayed on BTCE is the fact that you can increase the resolution and see more of the market and get a better judge of maybe where you should be setting your buys or sells based on current trends. So 8 hour here all the way back to 8 hour one day before right here um, anything before this you wouldn't know exactly what was going on and if you were judging your trades based solely on this small time frame you wouldn't actually under you would think that the market was in a high right here which it might actually be but one day before there were price points at this area and um, you might want to take that into consideration when you're setting up some trades that oh maybe because there is a huge sell-off here there might be another huge buy-in say uh, an equal amount of time down the road or there might not be so it's all really in it's all up to you where you set your price points um all you can really understand is how to read the chart and from a novice level make the kind of trades that you think you should be making so in five short days um you can clearly see the general uptrend for the entire ratio itself so without a question if you had bought in back here you would definitely be happy where where, uh, where you were standing and if you happen to miss a high sell-off like right here you should generally wait until you can reach that high sell point again because you've seen it once already there's no reason it's going to crash immediately um, as long as the market's healthy and there's a healthy volume of coins being traded. So uh, that's basically it for this video. Um, the next one I might get a little bit more into the actual mining component of this. This was just a simple video to teach people how to actually read the charts um, because it can be a little confusing if you're used to maybe a line graph with volume bars on how to actually read a candlestick chart. But once you understand what the wicks represent and what the candles represent, it actually shows much, much more uh, information than a simple line graph. So, again, just to go over it really quickly, uh, you're going to see two sets of numbers here. And the first number is the lowest value represented by the bottom of the wick of the mar of the coin price in a given time period, and then there will be a dash. And then the second number represents the highest uh, price point for a given coin in a certain time frame, represented by the top of the wick extending out of the candle, or sometimes not visible because the closing value lines up with it in such a way that it might obscure it entirely. But most of the time, you'll see little bit poking out and uh, if not you'll be able to actually just see that the numbers are the same when you hover over and then you'll know that they're actually just lined up over one another so then bottom of the wick top of the wick bottom of the candle top of the candle and then the candle actually represents the uh, the bottom of the candle actually represents the current price point and the top of the candle actually represents the entry point of the price. So if the bottom of the candle were to say surpass the top of the candle, the top of the candle would then become the bottom of the candle. And then the bottom that rose above the top would then turn green if it was red. Or vice versa, if the top sank below the bottom and changed from green to red, the bottom would then, or I mean the top would then become the new bottom of the candle. And the top, the new bottom. So I hope I was able to convey how to read these candlestick charts a little bit in layman's terms, hopefully. Um, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment. I don't guarantee that I'll comment you back necessarily soon. But if I have any free time, I'll be sure to try to do my best to get back to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Alright, now what do I click?